Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing the monthly reading for our Geminis for the month of October 2017. So we're going to start with our theme of the month. We'll be getting a little bit more guidance around um, from your angels around just general topics, and then we're going to be focusing on your life purpose, your career, your work this month. And I have a bonus for you as always, uh, which is some quick feng shui tips for work. So this, these will apply to you whether you work at home or you work in an office setting. These are things that will help you create an environment that energetically supports you in the things that you want in your life. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got the Five of Fire as the theme for you this month. Fire cards are all about the passion and the action. Also in feng shui, they relate to your fame and your reputation and how you show up in the world. And this five of fire is, um, as you can see, there's all these different um, you know, things that they're looking at, right? It's split energy. So it's competing goals. There's lots of different things going on, too many different details, right? You're having a little bit of trouble keeping all the balls in the air. And, um, and it's a problem. You know, when you split your energy, it's really difficult to get things done. So what they're wanting you to do is really focus on one main thing. Like, what is your one main thing? If you would accomplish that this month, you would feel amazing. So let's focus in particular on that one thing and then fit the other things in as you're able to do that, right? Focusing on one thing, fitting the other things in and letting go of some stuff because there's some things that you're doing that are just wasting your time, right? They're just not productive and they're not moving you towards your life purpose and what you're meant to be doing in this world. You may have a little bit of conflict this month as well um, with some people in your life. And again, um, it's important to remember, you know, what is important in all of this? Will this matter? a month from now, a year from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, will this even matter? Um, so really taking a little bit of look at perspective that way. All right, let's see what else we've got coming in for you. We've got some air cards. Um, we've got king of air coming in. Uh, air cards are all about your head, your intellect, what's going on upstairs. And this particular king of air card is about speaking your mind. So it's like clearing your throat chakra, speaking your mind with confidence, um, really getting some help though as well. So seeking some professional advice. So if you don't have a mentor in your life, this would be a really good time to get one, okay? I have a mentor. I really feel like it's important to have somebody that you can, um, that can see your blind spots, that can help you get back on track when you get off track. And that's not to say that you're not doing a good job. It just is helpful to have someone like that in your life. And I do, I do this for my private clients. I have um, just a very small number of private clients that I work with. But if that's something that you're interested in, that you resonate with me and want, um, want to work with me, please reach out because uh, I do have a little bit of room. I have room for mm, probably like three um, people right now. So I do have a little bit of room right now. Okay, so, and this is also about balancing your mental and emotional stuff, okay? So let's not get so emotional about things and not think them through and vice versa. Don't get so much in your head that you're not feeling, okay? There's a nice balance that needs to happen there. And then we've got the Magician card, which is an awesome card for you. So this Magician Archangel Raziel is coming in, and this is about life being magic, right? You have this magical touch. You're ready. You're ready for this next phase in your life. You have everything that you need. You don't need to go out and get any more certifications or anything like that. You have all the resources that you need or the ability to manifest what you need, right? And life is really just magical is what this is about. So I love that for October for you Geminis. That's awesome. Okay. And then we've got the eight of air coming in. So another air card, more in your head. And this eight of air is that sense of feeling like you're stuck. Like you're trapped and you can't get out of whatever you're in. It's always an illusion. You are never stuck. You are never trapped. There is always a way to move through it and move out. Sometimes when we get caught in that, um, what we call like the three-dimensional thinking, which is the fight, flight, or freeze, 
you know, that old fashioned part of our brain, if you will, uh, we get caught in that, we cannot see a way out, we cannot see the solution. And so it's really important that you get out of that state of mind and move into a space of being able to, um, to see the solution. Well, how do you do that? Feel your emotions, right? Don't ignore them. Like take some time and meditate on it, right? Um, it, and part of this can be just a lack of self-confidence where you feel like, oh, you know, everyone else can do that. You can move to Maui, but I can't do that, right? We can all, we all have the ability to shift and change our lives. So don't be afraid to take action. Jump in and just start doing something right? Just start taking some sort of action to shift things. Let's see what's going on with your career now this month. Career, work, life purpose, it can be all the same thing or it may be um, maybe different, right? So you may have your work that you do in the daytime and then your life purpose may be something that you do outside of work. Okay, we've got teaching coming in. So this teaching card is really letting you know that part of your life purpose is teaching. So in particular, when this card comes through, it is about teaching young people. So this can be about teenagers, it can be little ones, right? Um, it can be, you know, just younger people that are younger than yourselves, right? Where you're teaching, but that's part of your life purpose is teaching others and they're able to learn from you. And so it's, it's important that you bring that value to the world, that you bring that in. So um, share that gift. And then we've got the let go card, which is one of my favorite cards because it has to do with surrender. And this is really, um, many of you know that I'm working on a book. Uh, the book, one of the big themes in the book is about surrender. It's about letting go, right? And what they really want you to do in regards to a situation that's been troubling you is walk away from it, right? Step away, step back away from it so that you can get some perspective because when you can step away and let go of it, so let go of your attachment to any particular outcome, let go of needing to control the people that are involved or the situation itself, right? And just step back and that will allow you to have some perspective and, and then allow the situation to resolve, okay? And then body work is part of your life purpose. So um, many of you do this already in some form. So you may be a um, Reiki practitioner, you may um, be a chiropractor, you may um, do massage for, massage for a living. Um, there can be a number of different ways that this body work piece things shows up for you. Um, it can even be like what I'm thinking about like actors, like you're really using your body to express, right? And, and that can be um, part of it as well. Um, so it, it's healing. So the work that you do, the body work that you do is healing for others, okay? This could even be doctors or physical therapists, that type of thing as well. Um, even exercise training, right? Because that's, you're working with the body and you're helping him um, heal the body in that way. So, Geminis, that's what I have for you for the general reading. Stay tuned for the next little video that will immediately follow this one that will give you some quick feng shui tips for work. And then I also am tacking on to the very end uh, some ways that you can continue to connect with me. If you're like me, you like my energy, you want to do more with me, I will show you how you can do that. So. For now, relax, have fun, and enjoy the month of October. Much love. Aloha, it's Kim Jalima Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here with your quick feng shui tip. This month is a related to work. So um, one of the things that I experience, or I see a lot of people experiencing, is having a difficulty separating their work from their home life, right? And or finding that balance, right? So sometimes people are just working way too much. They don't have a lot of free time. They're not taking a lot of free time. They're not making that happen. Um, or they find that their home life um, seeps into their work. And so they're trying to work, they're trying to focus, and they've got interruptions from um, family, from friends, from children, whatever it might be. So I'm going to give you a couple quick feng shui tips today for um, creating a separation and more of a balance for your work and home life. 
So one of the things that I experience is um, oftentimes people work from home or you may bring work home to do there and there needs to be a separate space for you to be able to do that work. If you have a separate office or a physical room that you can use for that purpose, that is awesome. Do that. If you don't, um, create a space that's as far away from the bedroom as possible because the bedroom is where you want to be able to rest and relax and sleep and so we don't want our work infiltrating that space because then you'll end up thinking about it all night long, right? And not be able to sleep as well, okay? Um, the other thing that you can do if you don't have, um, let's say maybe you have a studio apartment or something where your bedroom and everything is all in one area, you can use a screen to divide, you know, to really set up a separation. You could even hang a scarf from the ceiling, right, to create that sort of visual separation from your work and your home life or your downtime, right? Uh, the last thing that you could potentially do is just cover it up, right? Um, and that would be like if you, um, and I, I don't recommend leaving your laptop or or things that you're doing for work anywhere close to your bed or your bedroom, I recommend like closing them up and putting them aside, right? Uh, so if you can somehow cover it up, even if you lay like a, a scarf or a blanket or something over the top of it, that's gonna help you know that, okay, work is done for today, now it's me time, now it's play time, right? Uh, so those are my quick feng shui tips for you for work this month.